Hi there, my name is Ivan Milenkovic and I'm here today to answer the question that is troubling most of you young players out there. How to obtain high quality sound, guitar sound, for your video recordings. And this high quality sound was usually reserved for those with a deeper pocket, but today we're going to do it with free software only. And to show you it's doable even with a limited power, I will create a good tone using nothing but this little battery powered netbook here that has limited fusions, 8 of CPU, 1 GB of RAM and integrated sound card. All we need is a guitar, guitar cable and adapter that will make our guitar cable for big to small jacks so we can hook it up to microphone input on our netbook. All free software and we are ready to go. This tutorial is split into two sections, first one is about creating a good audio tone and second one about creating good video based on that audio. For the first part you will need three different products that are free for evaluating and use without any limitations. First software is Osseo for All driver and this universal audio driver is available for free, it's easy to download and install. Second software is DAW or Digital Audio Workstation software and I choose Reaper. The third piece of software is a VST plugin that we will use inside Reaper Amplitude 3 Free, which is a stripped down version of a full Amplitude 3, but with the possibility of buying additional models online. From a hardware point of view, I have my guitar plugged via guitar cable into the microphone input. We will need an adapter like this one, and here I gotta post a bit of a warning because microphone input isn't made for instrument level signal voltage and impedance are slightly different. However, in most cases this will work. Try to be careful with active bass guitars or if you have stomp boxes. Try not to use them so you don't clip or damage the audio input on your audio card. What I would prefer is the use of a DI box unit if you have one. So you adapt the signal from unbalanced instrument level to balanced microphone level suitable for this input. Let's click audio properties in Windows and I'm using Windows XP. Let's check out microphone level by playing something. And you can hear guitar on the left channel only because it's a mono signal coming from the guitar. We can use the fader to adjust the level of the monitoring. But let's mute it here so it doesn't interfere with our recording. The next step is to open Reaper and download a backing track. For this tutorial I'm using a backing track from one of my lessons on GuitarMasterClass.net, Hard Rock Solo ND. But you can use any backing track that you have. Here is the backing track on the desktop and now I'm going to import the backing track into Reaper. Here's the backing track in Reaper and now I'm going to play it. For now let's just mute this backing track and open another audio track that we will use for our guitar. Now let's click an FX button and choose VST and Amplitude 3 free. First thing we're going to turn on monitoring on and record on so we can hear the guitar sound going through Amplitude 3. You can notice that there is some cracking and popping in the sound. This is due to the integrated sound card. Now I'm going to adjust the buffer size in ACO driver and now it's a bit better. For this tutorial we're going to choose a Marshall emulation and you will see that we have some of the models available while the other ones are available only through a custom shop that is basically an online shop where you can buy other models. Here's the sound of a Marshall emulation. And I think it sounds pretty decent. What I'm going to do is lower down the gain, increase the volume, and lower down the treble and presence. I'm going to 
going to use two microphones. The SM57 is going on the edge of the cone while the condenser one is going towards the center. We're going to try to emulate a boosted Marshall to create a good lead tone. In order to do that we're going to choose overdrive pedal and use it as a boost. Here you can see that I employed the noise gate so I remove some of the noise created by the integrated audio card and to create a delay effect we're going to use a stereo delay rack effect and we're going to use a stereotype delay. Also for fine tuning the color of the sound we're going to use this equalizer as well. After you make your tone it's time to record it on this track. What I'm going to do now is render this and from options I'm going to choose render the time region, WAV file, 48 kilohertz and 24 bit file. We're going to render to desktop. Now that you know how to record an audio, let's see how to shoot a video. For video you will need Movie Maker and this product is completely free and if you are using Windows XP chances are you already have it installed. If not you can find portable version on the web which I am using for this tutorial. In order to record a video you will need at least a webcam. I have a webcam plugged on my netbook but you can use integrated one too. If you want to record a good video with audio, you need to do the following steps in parallel. Open Reaper, repeat steps done in the first part of the tutorial and record your take. While Reaper is recording, capture yourself playing from Movie Maker. Later on you will put together these two separate files. Let's see how to capture. Open Movie Maker, choose new project, click on Tools, Options and make your project aspect radio 16.9 for widescreen or 4.3 for regular screen. Next choose capture from video device and you can see the monitoring and now press start capture. Bear in mind that I am recording audio in Reaper in background window. After capturing file will be imported. We need to import audio file as well, it's located on the desktop called audio capture. Place the video on the timeline and expand the view so you can see the audio file waveform. Place the audio capture from Reaper on a second audio channel and synchronize both audio files using waveform images. Cut and resize the scenes for your movie. Using a mixer, remove the sound of the audio from a webcam video and enable only the sound from Reaper audio track to be heard. And I'm rendering a small portion here as an example. Choose file and save movie file. Save to my computer, desktop and choose video settings. 
So to conclude the tutorial, you can make a good sounding video and audio product on extremely tight budget using older computer and all free software. Have fun experimenting with this and if you have any questions feel free to let me know. Greetings from Ivan Milenkovic at the GMC.